Good morning, everybody. Thank you for coming to class. Um, we're going to be working uh, with the upper body today. Uh, we did that on Wednesday as well. So uh, we're just kind of continuing that theme and some of the moves. Um, so if you have a blanket, ideally, go ahead and take it kind of on its wider setting. Um, so not the short edge, but the, the longer edge. And then just fold it um, twice if you can, so it makes a little burrito. Um, if that's too much for your back, just fold it in half. And then place it at the top of your mat. I'm going to stay seated for a moment because I want to read. But what I'd like to see is your head uh, and upper body or torso completely supported, but uh, your lower back free um, and kind of unencumbered. Your low back should not feel like it's being um, stressed or, um, or compressed at all, but I want your head supported. If you need a block under your behind, I'll demo here, just to ease up that low back, you can do that. Chances are a block's going to be a little bit too high. But if you need something under your sacrum to relieve that, uh, go ahead and do that. So you've got the blanket underneath your back. You should feel like the chest is open, the arms out to the sides this really gentle stretch of the upper body, upper chest, the front deltoid, front shoulders. And your legs can be straight or your knees can be bent, whatever feels oh. good. And just allow, I don't think I muted my thing. So just allow gravity to take hold of uh, your breath here. Allow that to take the shoulders where they need to go. All right, let's try that. Maybe close the eyes, start to notice the breath. Um, so again, I'm reading from Donna Fald's uh, book uh, that's called What's True Here. <clears throat> and this one is called Praying to Be Kind. I used to think that being smart, successful, and accomplished was the key. And then I believed that being a disciplined seeker would open the doors to divinity. Now it seems to me all that really matters is being kind. Kind to my stumbling, imperfect self. Kind to every other being I meet along the way. I pray for the rough edges of my judgment to be smoothed. So what remains is kindness and acceptance of this unfolding moment. Inside this kindness may I find truth and may truth illuminate my way today. Amen. Oh, what a beautiful prayer to remind us that kindness is the way. So feel that resonate with your body feel that as you move through your practice today being kind to ourselves honoring our process here in class and in life and if you can bring the arms to cactus that may be a big stretch for some, that may, may be no stretch for others, but bring the arms to cactus pose, elbows directly out from the shoulders, your palms are face up. And again, just allow gravity to open up chest, open up shoulders. If your legs are straight, go ahead and bend your knees, place your feet on the floor, your feet are hips width apart, and as you exhale, tuck the pelvis and just lift the sacrum off the floor. You're not going to go too big. You're not lifting your back off the blanket. Just a nice, long, tight tuck of the pelvis. And then as you inhale, release it and let the sacrum come back to the floor. Good. 
exhale, curl it up. So we're just warming up the low back while we went, let the shoulders stretch. Inhaling as you release. Exhale, curl it in. Your head, neck should be neutral. Inhaling as you release. Two more. Breathe. Last one, nice full releases too. So we're really tucking in strongly, but then as we release, we release that fully. Allow the right leg to straighten along the floor. Bring the left knee toward your chest. Release your arms and draw that knee in a little bit more if it'll go. Hands go behind your left knee. Take the left leg straight up to the ceiling. Don't try to overstretch here. Just allow again the hamstring to start to open up the back of the leg, maybe point and flex a few times. And breathe. And then uh, bend the knee, bring that back to chest, straight in that leg. Bring the right knee in, hold for a moment. Hands behind the right knee, straighten the leg up toward the ceiling. And again, maybe point and flex. Breathe. And then bend the knee, bring that in, straighten that leg. And then bend both knees, both feet on the floor, leave the feet on the floor. Take the arms back out to cactus pose. And then bring hands and elbows in towards center as if you were going to read a book in those hands. In other words, the palms of your hands face your eyes or your face when you bring the hands and the elbows together. And then open them up, palms uh, are face up. Good. Bring them in, squeeze elbows and pinky side of hands together. And then open three more just like that. Squeeze it in. Open it up, good, and squeeze. You'll feel some chest work happening. And open big and wide, last one. Squeeze it in, and open, good. And then bring those hands together like you're reading a book again. Interlace the hands, press them up to the ceiling. If this hurts your wrists or your shoulders, release your arms. It's not a big deal. So take those arms overhead. Fingers are still interlaced. If that works for you, feel the work behind the shoulders. And then inhale, take the arms up. Exhale, the hands just go to your belly. Keep them interlaced. Reach them up. Take them overhead. Reach them up, let the palms come down to your belly. Just one more here, reach up and over. And take them back to your belly, open them back to cactus pose. Ooh, feel that stretch. And then this time, straighten the arms overhead until the fingers kind of touch, like you were gonna make a little V pattern or something. And then exhale, elbows go down toward your hips. Good, so we are working shoulders today. We're gonna do tons of range of motion, reaching the arms overhead and then squeezing the elbows down. Let's just go two more right there. Good, last one, reach it out and bring it back in. Bring the elbows, the hands together. This time the palms touch, breathe. And release cactus pose, Ooh, stretch it out. And then let those hands come down to your sides, feet are on the floor. I want you to tuck your pelvis, lift your hips. Watch the back of your head and neck. Make sure there's space behind your neck. Breathe and then start to lift those hips up so that you're in a bridge pose. Make sure, again, your head, neck feel comfortable, that your chin isn't dropping down to your chest. Breathe. Stay here if you can. Squeeze up. Engage the glutes. Reach the arms overhead, or sorry, up toward the ceiling, as if you could touch your fingers to the ceiling. Keep the hips if you can. Press into your feet. Lengthen your tailbone, and on the exhale, bring the elbows down along your sides until they press into the floor and lift your chest. 
release that chest, take the arms up. So as you come down, you're pressing the elbows in, the chest will lift just a little more, and then you kind of release that as you reach up, three more, just like that. Press in, little bridge work here, and the arms raise, two more. Squeeze and lift, kind of release, lift up, last one. Press elbows in, feel the chest, and release, arms up, bring those hips back down to the floor, release your arms. Well done, everybody. If you can, knees, both knees to chest, take your hands behind both knees, crisscross your ankles, and roll up and off your blanket. Yay! Good. And then you could probably set your blanket aside for now. <clears throat> you got a nice seat here. Take the feet out in front of you. The hands can go right behind. Open up that chest and let's do just a few windshield wipers and start to open that up. That's it. Good. The next time your knees, I'm going to mirror here or over to the left. Pause reposition the back leg so that it feels comfortable. If my knees are pointing to the left, my left hand goes down to the floor, the right arm goes up. Good, and breathe again. So just kind of notice this pose. You can walk the hand out, you can bend the elbow and stretch here if that works for you. And then push into your hand, bring the elbow to your waist and reach up and lower yep and squeeze you're gonna see these kinds of moves a lot today stretch and squeeze good just one more stretch and squeeze one stay here two cactus pose legs are the same if you need one hand down that's okay so if you have one hand down you're moving one arm or you're moving both squeeze in Open up. When you squeeze in, the palms face you like you're reading a book. Open, squeeze, and three, hang in there, four, last one, five, open. Let the hands come down. This right leg or the back leg, release it and let it go out to the side. You can bring the other heel into your groin. If your knee is up high, go ahead and grab a block and place it under that left knee. There you go, and breathe. Inhale, reach up. You're gonna take the right hand down the right leg and stretch over. Breathe, and then you're gonna switch and reach. Yep, and right hand down the leg. And then left elbow to your hip, stretch, good. Just one more, stretch it out and reach, lifting up. You're gonna take that right hand down the right leg. Maybe you go a little lower, watch the side bend here. Take both arms up, turn to the right leg. There you go. Hands come down just a little funky forward fold here, single leg forward fold. Find your breath. Just notice here, right? Stretching through the back of that right leg, using the breath, exploring here. What happens if we draw the shoulders, not necessarily down, but draw the shoulders back as if we could isometrically pull the hands back. And release, take that up. You're gonna bend your right leg, release your left leg, go wide. And windshield wiper again. And just feel right. So rolling over the hips, rolling over the glutes. Sometimes this can be a really nice um, kind of massage for those muscles, especially when we work them a lot. Good. One more time when the knees go to the right, pause, take the back leg and make it comfortable. You can even bring the uh, the right heel in a little bit so that you can sit more upright. Your right hand goes out to the side. 
Inhale, take the left arm up and breathe. Now up to you if you can or want to come down toward the elbow. Yep, doesn't have to go that low. And then you're pushing into that hand to squeeze the elbow to the side and reach up and over. As you exhale, that arm bends, the elbow squeezes a little bit of oblique work. There you go, Celeste. And inhale up. Exhale, squeeze it in. Two more. Reach. Breathe. Good. One more here. And squeeze it in. Hold if you can. Take the other arm up. We might have added that to the first side, but that's okay. You got it. Just breathe, everybody. And release. Good. Straight in that back leg. Take it out to the side. I'm sure there's something I forgot in that little sequence, but it's all right. Inhale. Take the arms up. Left hand goes down, left leg, and just pause, right? So what we want to try not to do is roll the chest forward for the side bend. So just don't go too low, right? Just take it easy. And then as you bring it up, squeeze the elbow into your waist as you take the other arm overhead. Yep. Slide it down your leg and reach. Bring the elbow in toward that hip and stretch. We got just one more here and reach and squeeze. Nice job, everybody. Take that left hand down, turn the chest toward your leg and find that forward fold just off to the side. That's it. Soften the shoulders. See if you can draw the shoulder blades toward each other a little bit. And release. Come on up. If you can, crisscross those legs. If not, bring those legs, hips, knees into a position that feels okay. While we sit, take the arms out. Good. Listen up. You're going you're gonna to twist to the right. Again, I'm mirroring here. And then you're going to take your left elbow and uh, actually take both elbows and bring them together, but stay twisted and open Whew. and bring them together and open. You're staying in this twist. Just one more squeeze, open, come back to center, open and twist to the other side. Keep the twist, bring the arms together. And open, good, two, and open. Last one here, everybody, squeeze, and open. Bring it back to center, let that go, roll that out, and let's come on up to table pose. Just have your stuff, your blocks mostly, where you can get it. If you would like a blanket or something under your knees, go ahead and do that. We're gonna be here just for a little bit. Coming to table pose, tone in through the belly, breathe, press the left leg back. You know what to do, right? We tone in through that low belly. We draw the low ribs in, lift the leg, hold here, find your breath. Reach the right arm out. Tone in. Feel the strength of this one. You're here, two elbow, two knee, squeeze and open. Squeeze it in, open it up, squeeze, three, two more, squeeze it in and open. Last one, squeeze and open. Listen up, take the same right arm to cactus, bend the left knee, take the knee up, whew, like you're in a hydrant pose. Three, squeeze, hold, and release. Whew. Nice job, everybody. Shake that one out. Same thing, other side. Right leg goes back. Everything draws to the middle. Chest is still lifted. Reach the right leg up. Find your pose. 
Reach the left arm out. Maybe that's where you hang out. Feel the work. This is a whole body pose. Elbow to knee, five times squeeze, go slow and reach. Don't forget to breathe. Three and four and five, reach. Take the left arm to cactus. Bend the right knee and turn that out. Whew. Little funky balancing pose here. And release. Shake that one out. Make sure you're taking good care of your wrists. And last one here before we get up. Left hand moves toward the center of your mat. Right arm reaches up. Good. That little eye of the needle without landing. So you're going to sweep the right arm under. Look to the left. And then reach it back up again. And under. And reach up. Last one, reach under. And reach up. Hold it here, everybody. Internally rotate the right arm. Take you behind your back. Any amount. Find your breath. Watch that you're not over lifting the chin. Good. Take the right arm up, everyone. Exhale, let that hand come down. Take the switch hands, take the left arm up. Oh, that stretch through the chest. As you exhale, take it under and lift up. Exhale and reach. Good, one more here, take it down. Reach it up, hold, feel the wingspan, fingertips to the heel of your other hand, internal rotation. Let that hand come behind your back. Good. Maybe you're looking toward that left, but don't lift the chin. Keep it neutral. That's it. Reach the arm up. Exhale down. Whew. Sit back on your heels or child's pose. Just stretching that baby out. And come on up. Walk the knees back until you're in a half plank pose. Again, I love blankets on my knees. So use the blanket if you need to. Try to get to the top end or above that kneecap. So you're not just sitting on the kneecap. And then squeeze your belly. Draw the inner elbows toward each other as if you're going to hold on to something between the elbows. You can cross ankles too if that feels good to you. I want you to lower an inch. Try not to let the elbows splay. Keep them training back and just bend them an inch and lift. Yep. Bend. Try not to sink. Three. Four. Whew. And five. The next time you come down an inch, I want you to hold. And then tone the belly in, soften the lower ribs in, keep the elbows bent, try not to drop the head. I know your arms are working, mine are working. Tone in, lengthen that tailbone, everybody, hang in there. See if you can lower one more inch, breathe, hold, push all the way up, sink back, stretch that out. You got it. Come on back up, plank, half plank. Now, you're going to train the elbows in. You're going to bend the elbows. And it's as if you could take your torso forward, right? So when we think about chaturanga, we're not going to do a lot of it. But the arms are solid. The torso goes forward. Bend the elbows a half of an inch or an inch. Look toward the top end of your mat. And say, I'm not going to let my hips sink while I hold and maybe lower a little more. Strength work here. Breathe and lower a little more. Pull the belly in. Push all the way up and sink back. You got it. 
One more time. We're coming back. Everything the same. Spread the fingers. Claw in all those things you know. Open up the shoulders. Engage between the shoulder blades. Imagine pulling your torso forward as you bend the elbows. This time we're going all the way to the floor. So one, two, three, four, and lower. And then use your hands to push up. Sink back toward the hips to stretch your chest. We're going to do that one more time. Come to half plank. Open up the shoulders. Whew. Smile this time. It'll feel better if you smile. <laughs> I swear. Here we go. Slowly lower down. Count of four. One, two, three, four. And release. Nice job, everybody. Push up. Table pose. Two downward facing dog. Hold your down dog. Just bend those knees. Stretch the backs of the legs. Stretch the arms, the shoulders. Hold that dog, draw the low belly in, soften the low ribs in, and then take your feet wide. Walk those hands back. Ooh. You can move your blanket out of the way for now. Nice little forward fold here. Your feet are still wide, and if it feels okay to you, you're going to step on your fingers. Be careful here. Step on all your fingers except your thumbs. And then try to pull your hands out. All we're doing here is stretching the wrists. <sighs> Breathe. Squeeze down onto your fingers. Try to pull them out isometrically. And then bend your knees. Undo one hand. Undo the other hand. Bend your knees. Hands to your knees. And come on up to standing. So, so much when we are doing this so much in yoga, right? They can really get kind of funky. So stretching them out makes a huge difference. Grab your block. Choices. One, you're going to just stand for this. Two, you're going to come into just a little wider squat, just so we can keep the legs working at the same time. So your feet are a little bit more than hips width apart, but not much. Watch the knees, right? No curling in. Keep them pressing out. Sink. Hold that block out in front of you. Take it in one hand. Reach behind you. Don't let the upper body fall. Take it forward. Just five circles. If you're in a squat, sit back. Breathe. Go in the same direction. So the trick here, right? This seems easy and stop in the middle is to not let the chest fall and not round everything, especially the head. So let's go the other way. Out, reach back. Good. If you're squatting like me, you're going to start to feel those legs. Back. Keep the head and neck all in line. Two more. Yep. Last one. And stand up if you've been squatting. Whew, shake that out. Feet hips width apart. Come back into a little squat. Optional, of course. Take the block up. Go in behind the head. So take it behind the head. So notice, right, if you pause, here we go. Try not to drop forward and out. Take it behind your head. <laughs> and I love these. I know I've done them in the past, but. They're awesome for shoulders. Just two more. Woo, if you're holding that squat, way to go. Switch directions and out. Woo, yep, I know, I'm feeling my legs right now. Last one, behind, take that block behind your head, press the elbows out, see if you can come into a squat, sink, Back, lengthen the tailbone, press the elbows out. Keep the block there, stand up. So notice, is your chin rising or raised? Is it tucked straight back into your block? Press the elbows back and then squeeze them in. Yep. And two. 
And three, when you squeeze back, squeeze back, feel the upper back working. Four, five, good, hold, bring them out and hold. And then five baby pulses. One, two, three, four, five, and release that block. Ooh, and just feel that, right? We spend so much time like this. It helps so much to open those up. So go ahead and bring the blocks to the front of your mat. Come up to the front. Pause here in mountain pose. And I really want you to just feel where your shoulders are in space. Right? Is one forward versus the other? Are they both feeling pretty even? Do they tend to round? When you put your hands along the sides, what rests? What what points toward those legs? If your thumbs are more in, then the shoulders are rounding a little bit more. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, forward fold. Grab your blocks, lowest or second height. Soften the knees. Step back with your right foot. Use your breath. Leave your right hand where it is. Take the left arm up. Really simple stuff here. And as you take it back, reach behind your back. Open the shoulder, press through the back leg, nice and strong, tone the low belly. Yep, and breathe. And then reach that arm up. <sighs> Exhale, take it back to the floor, step forward. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, forward fold. <sighs> Soften the knees, step back, left leg, left hand stays where it is, right arm reaches up. Internal rotation, reach behind your back. Make sure the left shoulder is not collapsing. Release, take the arm up, back to your block, step forward. Bend both knees, take it up. Exhale to your heart. Inhale, reach. Exhale, forward fold. Step back, right leg. Right hand stays where it is. Left arm reaches up. Take it right behind your back. Maybe those fingers wrap around the waist. Hold here, breathe. Notice. Release, take the arm up. Both hands back to the block. Listen up again. Take both arms. Woo! Up. As you exhale, cactus arms. Optional, inhale. As the elbows come down, the back knee comes down. Inhale. Exhale, it can come down an inch. Whew. This is four. One more, my darlings. And five, Woo. reach up, hands come to your blocks. Step forward. Shake it out, bend the knees, take all, take it all the way up. Exhale to your heart. Second side. Reach up. Exhale down. Soften the knees, step back, left leg. Your left hand stays on your block, right arm reaches up. Take it behind your back. Open up the shoulder. Find your breath. Take the arm up, exhale down to your block. As you reach, take both arms up. You got it. First, just elbows and up, and then maybe four more, maybe bend the knee and up. This is two and three Woo! and four. Take it up. Well done, everybody. Hands to your blocks. Who step forward? Find your breath. Bend the knees. Inhale, reach. Exhale to your heart. Inhale it up. Exhale down. Right leg steps back. Little baby flow here. Right hand stays where it is. Left arm reaches up. Take it behind your back. Open up chest, shoulders, engage the back leg. Reach it up, 
take it down to your block. Inhale, both up. Only one, I promise. Knee down, elbows down. Reach up. Hands come back to your blocks. Straighten your front leg. Find your breath. Soften the elbows. Stretching the hamstring on that left side. Breathe. Bend the knee. Step forward. Bend both knees. Take it up. Exhale to your heart. Reach up. Exhale down. Left foot steps back. You're in your lunge. Left hand stays where it is. Right arm reaches. Take it behind your back. Open it up. Inhale that arm up. Take it down to your block. Get solid there. Take both arms up. Nice high lunge. One knee one, and your elbows. And up. Both hands to your blocks. Straighten the front leg. Pause here. Smile. Bend your front knee. Step forward. Bend both. Inhale up. Exhale to your heart. Shake out your head. Release your arms one more time. Here we go. Exhale. Right leg steps back. Inhale, left arm up. Just let it slide right behind your back. Breathe. Tone through the belly. Reach it up. Take it back to your block. Come on up. High lunge. Optional. Knee down. And up. Take both hands to your block. Straight in the front leg. Breathe, everybody. Listen up. You're going to walk your right hand block just a little forward. You might want to shorten your stance just a little. Take your left hand to your hip and look to the left. Reverse triangle. Back heel can be dropped. If you can, front leg is straight. Take the arm up only if you want. Yep, smile. And release, hands go to your blocks. The blocks level out. Step forward. Inhale, reach. Let's get it done, Left our other side. <laughs> Breathe, step back, left leg. Find your pose, right arm reaches up and goes right to your back. Open up chest, smile, strong back leg. Good support here. Take the arm up, exhale down to your block. Straight, oops, sorry, high lunge, almost forgot that one. Breathe, strong back leg, exhale down. Front leg straightens, breathe, back heel drops. If you can, maybe you shorten the pose just a little bit. Walk the left hand block forward just a little, like a half of a block. And take the right hand to your hip and just look to the right. If you're still good, take the right arm up to the ceiling. Release. Good. Bend the front knee. Step forward. Inhale all the way up. Exhale all the way down. Shake that out, everybody. Just move it around and just feel, right? How's that feeling for you? Everything's open. Everything's feeling good. So we're going to come to the front of our mats. Inhale, reach up. Take the hands to your heart and come into a chair pose. In fact, if you want, sorry, I should have said that sooner, you can take a block either right between the knees or between the thighs. I've got mine on second width, might be a little too wide. 
hips width apart, feet. So you would just take it up. Exhale, hands to your heart. So the legs are in place. We're in a chair-ish pose. Tailbone down, belly tones in, take the arms up. And then take them to cactus. Lean forward a little. Really watch the low backs here. And then take the arms together like you're reading a book. And reach back. Good. Squeeze those arms together. Open it up. Squeeze. Open. Just two more. Squeeze. And you're squeezing the block. Last one. Squeeze. Open. Take both hands to back pockets. Push down to stand up. Squeeze your block. Remove your block. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, chair pose. Remember not to over sink, over round here. Arms out to cactus. Squeeze those arms together. Listen up. See if you can come up to your ball mounds or lift the heels. If not, maybe lift one heel. Lower the heels. Reach the arms. Bring them together. Lift the heels. Balance work. Drop the heels. Open the arms. Squeeze. Hold right here, everybody. Breathe. Take the arms out. Keep the heels lifted. Woo! You got it. Drop the heels. Bring the hands together. Stand up. Shake all that out. Inhale. Reach up. Exhale, full forward fold. Plant the hands, step back, downward facing dog. Pedal it out. Find your breath. Love down dog is a resting pose. If this doesn't feel at all resting, go to child's pose just for a moment. Inhale to your tippy toes. Exhale, lower your knees. Just a moment here, child's pose. Stretch it out. And then come on up, table pose. Down dog. Step forward, right leg. Step forward, left. Bend both knees. Inhale, take it up. Exhale to your heart. Shake that out, everybody. All right, so one more round there of that little balance work. Feet or hips width apart, take it up. Exhale to your heart. Find the pose that feels good. If I go too deep and poke my butt out too much, my low back has a conversation with me, right? So I always remember, try to keep it long. Lean the chest forward, take the arms out. Good, breathe. See if you can lift the heels. Take the arms just to a like a robot in front of you, not together. And reach the arms back. Chest has to come forward. If off heels is too much, drop the heels. Breathe. Come back to a robot arm. Go out to cactus. Woo! Good. Just one more. Robot. Press back. Robot. <laughs> arms out. Cactus. Drop the heels. Reach the arms up. And exhale. And roll that out. How'd that feel? Right? Little bit of a challenge. A little bit of work there. Back to the front of your mat. Take it up. Exhale. Forward fold. Soften the knees. Step back. Right leg. Take your blocks under your hands. Find your breath. Lower the right knee. Release those toes. Take your left hand to your knee. Take the right arm up. Grab your block. Take it behind your head. And just open up that chest. Press the block into your hands. Open the elbows. Take the arms up. Hold your block. 
Now I've just got fingers resting, so the arms have to work. I'm not gripping the block. Breathe. Release. You don't need your blocks here. Either you're going to switch sides or you're going to move through down dog. Stepping back, finding that beautiful down dog. And then stepping forward, right foot. Once you're there, lower the left knee. Got your blocks. Hold on. Right hand to right knee. Left hand grabs your block. Take it up. Bring it behind your head. Press the elbows back. Press the head into the block to move the chest back. And breathe. Take it up. Don't grip your block, but hold it over your head. It's crescent, basically crescent pose, right? Except we're down on one knee. And release. Set both blocks aside. Lift the left knee. Step back, down dog. While you're here, two, plant that right hand, right arm. Release the left hand. Take it to your right shin. Shoulder work, everybody. Release that left hand. Plant it. Reach the right hand to the left thigh or left shin. Release that. Plank pose. Hang on. We're almost there. Push your body away from the floor. Lift one leg. Optional. Lower that leg, lift the other. Lower, take both knees to the floor. Squeeze the elbows in, bring the torso forward and lower. Whew. Plant your elbows and come into Sphinx pose. Scoot down my mat. Whew. And breathe. It's quite a lot of work, huh? <laughs> if I don't say so myself. <laughs> Good. Breathe, everybody. And just kind of sway a little side to side. Let's get some release in the deep belly muscles. You got it. And then come back to center. Walk your hands one handprint forward. Plant the hands. Lift the elbows Draw the elbows in, drop the shoulders. All right, give me 10 elbow taps. So 10, nine, eight, don't let the elbows out. Six, five, four, three, two, one, and hold. Here's the fun part. You're going to plant that right hand and dig in. See if you can lift the left arm any amount. One hand, plant the left hand, lift the right. Don't let the elbow out, keep it tucked, drop both. Lift the fingers so you're just on the heels of your hands. Squeeze those elbows, everybody. Lower the fingers, lower your body, well done. Soften, just let your forehead rest on your hands. Bend the knees, windshield wiper. And release. Grab one block. We love our blocks. <laughs> love, love, love. All right, we got to say nice things to our props. As well as our people. <laughs> so... Tuck that tailbone, everybody. Press down through the pubic bone. You're going to take the block in your right hand. Take both hands back. Draw the shoulders away. Lift head, neck, shoulders. Lift the arms. Feet can lift or not. It's up to you. You're going to hold that block with both hands and press back. Locust pose. And breathe. And then you're going to leave your right arm down. Reach your left arm forward. Take your right arm forward. Grab your block. Swing it around. I know we're just doing three on each side. 
Reach the left arm forward, take the right arm forward, grab your block. Woo. One more. Reach, take it forward and bring it back. Press and release. Shake it out. The block goes in the left hand, both arms go back. Draw the shoulders back, feel the squeeze between the shoulder blades. Breathe, lift head, neck, shoulders, legs optional. Lift the arms, grab that block, reach it around right. Take the left hand forward, both arms back. Right arm goes forward, left comes to get it. Reach both back, one more. Right arm, left arm. Both arms reach back, everybody, and release. Whew. Shake, shake, shake that out. Whew. Such good fun, don't you think? <laughs> All right, last one here, locust pose. Press down through the pubic bone, everybody. Both hands come behind, palms are face up. Pull the shoulders away from the floor. Lift the legs. Hold. Back of your hands are just resting on the floor. Working with back body. Lift the arms. Find that. Turn the palms to face each other. Turn the palms down. So notice if the shoulders want to droop. Hold on here. Turn the palms in. Turn them up. One more. Turn them in. Turn them down. Turn them in. Whew. Turn them up. And release. Bend your knees, windshield wiper. Beautiful job, everybody. I did say this was going to be an easy class. I might have fibbed a little. <laughs> All right, we're going to turn on to our sides. Now, if you would like a little cushion under your hip, go ahead and grab, take a moment to grab the blanket so that you have something just a little cushy. <sighs> yep, catch your breath for a second here. And then press up onto your forearm. Your knees are at 90 degrees. We're getting there. Your top arm is up toward the ceiling. Your belly is toned in. The low back is nice and long. When you bend your elbow, you're going to meet it with your knees. You're going to squeeze and then lengthen the top leg long as you take the arm so squeeze it all in and lengthen. Good. Squeeze and squeeze. Five, four, work with that oblique. Three, two, and one. Hold right there. Just hold. Squeeze and try to get taller. So try to lift out from your forearm. Yep. Take your top arm forward in front of you, right out of your shoulder, and then extend the left or that top leg forward. Oh, I know, right? Who, who invented this one? <laughs> Good. Bring them both back and squeeze. So elbow and heel go back and squeeze. Bring them in. Squeeze them out. Last one. Squeeze them in. Squeeze them out, lower that leg, straighten the bottom leg, take the top arm up. I know, lots of pretzels today. Internally rotate top arm, squeeze it behind your back. Maybe it comes to the floor behind you and you're pressing both forearm and hand away from the floor. Release everybody, bend everything, soften everything, switch sides.
Same thing if you want a little cushion under, please do that. You can lay for a second, bent knees, heads relaxed. No problemo. Breathe. <sighs> And when you're ready, if you can, prop yourself up. So even this, right, it's very purposeful. You know, your shoulder, your elbow are lined up. Your, fore, your elbow and your hand are lined up and you're either in a soft fist or your palm is down. You'll know what feels right to you, I think. So just play with that if it doesn't. But you want that nice straight line to stay stable in the shoulder. Take your top arm up. Bend your knee, your top knee, you're bringing elbow to knee for 10. So squeeze, pause at that middle, and then extend the leg and the arm. And two. Squeeze, pause. Yep. Three. And four. Five. Working with that side body. Six. And seven. You got it. Eight, nine, ten. Hold, bend that top knee. Take the top arm out to the side. Extend the leg out. Oh, Lordy, here we go. So you're just going to bend the heel as you bring the elbow back. Or bend the knee, I guess. Bring the heel back. Yep. Two, just five of these. Three, and four, almost there. And five, drop that top foot down straight in the bottom foot. Take the top arm up. One, you're here, or you're going to bring that arm behind you. See if you can plant that hand on the floor. Don't force it. Open the chest. Press out of that elbow and forearm. Breathe. Release. Take it up. Release the legs. Come on to your backs. Well done, well done. All the way down, everybody. If you got a blanket under your hips, that's wonderful. Make sure it covers the low back as well so that you're not throwing those uh, hips off. Take both hands behind your head, soft interlace, and just let the elbows go out to the sides. As if you were laying out in the sun, without a care in the world. Take the feet wide on your mat and drop both knees toward the right. Keep the arms where they are. Close your eyes. Coming back to that poem that I read this morning, that prayer for kindness and praying that kind, kindness leads our way today. Good. Take the knees to center. As you exhale, let the knees fall to the other side. The arms stay right where they are. Relax your jaw. Feel the chest rise and expand and then soften back down. Allow the hips to release, the belly, the shoulders. Take the knees back to center, release the arms. Woo. And then take each arm or eight, take each hand and just let the thumbs come underneath the tailbone or underneath the sacrum. Straighten the legs. One, you're here. This is awesome. 
you're going to hang out. Two, you're going to plant your elbows, push your forearms in, lift your chest and come into fish pose. It is not one we do that often. You're very, very lightly resting on the top of your head. If there's a lot of weight there or you have neck issues, you're staying more neutral. Pressing into the forearms, pressing into the elbows, lifting your chest. Finding your breath. And then slide the head down. Really take the arms out. Arms go to cactus. Legs can be straight or the knees can be bent, depending on how you're feeling. You're going to cross your arms ac across your chest like you're giving yourself a hug. Walk the fingers as far back around your back as your arms will go. Just rest here. Remember which arm is closest to your nose. Open the arms up and switch sides. So you just wrap in those arms around as far as they'll go. No strain. Release. Bend the knees if they're not already. Take the left leg up toward the ceiling and then come into figure four on that side. Can take the arms through the legs or your, it's really your left arm through your leg, your right arm to the outside and hold on to the right leg. Go very easy here. Keep the legs, release the arms. Take your left foot over to the right until that foot lands on the floor. And then take both arms back out to cactus. So it's just a twist here. Your right or your left foot is on the floor. Your right leg is just resting. You're not holding it in place. Chest is open. Shoulders are relaxed. And then push with both feet, both legs, bring the knees back together, undo that side, take the right leg up to the ceiling, and then bring that ankle to your left knee, figure four, bring the knees closer to chop. Draw the hand through the leg, hold on if you want, don't have to. But keep it soft, keep it slow. Release your hands, slowly lower, right foot to the floor, relax the left leg, both arms out to cactus. Back of the neck is long. Let's find your breath, everyone. Maybe you send yourself a message of appreciation for coming to class today, for making the effort, for loving your body, yourself enough. And then push off both legs, come back to center, both knees to chest. And as you're ready, straighten one leg nice and wide to the corner of your mat. Straighten the other leg nice and wide, corner of your mat. Just check the hips, see if they're nice and even. Always know that you can keep those knees bent. 
and then allow the arms to go wherever it feels good to you, whether it's straight out to the side, down toward your hips or overhead. And then soften down fully. Allow your focus to come to the softness of your breath in and out. Feel yourself going deeper into your savasana. Go softer still. For those to be ready, just start to move those legs a little bit. Maybe bend the knees. Draw the knees toward your chest and just rock side to side. As you're ready, allow the knees to roll over to one side, roll over in fetal pose. And then with little effort, press all the way up, coming back to your seat. Inhale, let the arms come up. Bring them to your heart. Bow, your, bow to your own internal wisdom, your own kindness. Allow yourself only as well to give as to receive. Not only. 
Allow yourself to give and receive. Namaste, everyone. Namaste. Thank you, everybody. <sighs> Thanks so much for coming to class. <laughs> Let me find.